put into words the thoughts and feelings that have been rushing through our minds? How can we truly articulate them? As of now, I'm not sure. So for now, we will walk along the line of remembrance and celebration. Celebration. It's hard to say that in the midst of pain and longing, but we do celebrate that River has been fully healed and that she is... <laughs> and that she is, is, is rejoicing in the presence of Christ. From the very moment of finding out we were pregnant, that God chose us to have a child, we celebrated. We celebrated with family, friends, and even strangers. Uh, we celebrated the very first time we saw River on the ultrasound screen. We celebrated when we heard the beautiful heartbeat that she had. We celebrated when, she, when we found out we were having a little girl and we celebrated with every little kick and movement that we felt. We celebrated when we would hear, or at least I would hear, River moving within the womb. And we even celebrated when we heard about the complications that she had. Uh, because we knew that God was in control no matter what and we trusted him to do what was right. We celebrate in sharing with we celebrated in sharing with others what was going on and we were encouraged by all your prayers and support. But on July 22nd, our celebration turned into mourning. However, we continued to celebrate. We celebrated through tears and heartbreak that a river was indeed healed and that our prayers were answered. We celebrated that that God, well, healed her. We celebrate even now that river is fully healed. We celebrate that river will never know pain, fear, heartache, sorrow, corruption, or sin. We celebrate that one day we will get to meet our little girl face to face. We may feel pain, heartache, and longing for our baby, but we celebrate our awesome God for, the, for healing her and for rescuing her from this fallen world. We look forward to celebrating Christ with our little girl in paradise one day. Till that day, we will continue to remember us, our celebration that we shared with our baby girl. We hold on to the love that we have for River and never cease to forget everything she caused us to celebrate. Above all, <laughs> we continue to celebrate our God and Savior, Christ Jesus, for making it possible to meet our little girl, River Riley, one day. So today, we celebrate the healing of River Riley Messenger. We celebrate our, our future reunion and we celebrate Christ Jesus without whom we would never be able to celebrate.